Riley. Pass through Leonardville on the way and almost stopped for a chicken fry. And we're just getting ready to start here. First pitch almost here. Minneapolis girls progressing quite well this year. Have improved, got a 10 and nine record. Have played some uh, pretty nifty games. Uh, I can think of a couple up at Ellsworth that were really neat to watch, but uh, those are behind us, and here we go. First pitch on its way, Minneapolis and Riley County. Class 3A substate. First pitch outside, all one. Or regional, I guess, not substate. Not the same? It is, in effect. But, uh, for some reason, they call them differently. There's a pop-up third base. Allie has it, one away. Leadoff hitter for Riley County. Pop that one up. Now Chris uh, Weeks. Senior, there are three seniors on this team as the Minneapolis team. Sporting three seniors this year. Minneapolis, a very young team. Perry, senior pitcher, and Emily Rankin in right field, a senior, and Deja Martin, the flex person, will hit for the pitcher is the other senior. One down here in the top of the first. Ground ball to short. Walker. Bobbles the grounder, it gives Weeks just enough time to beat out the throw to first, and Riley County has one on with one out. That brings up Daniel Sias. Got the double play as Victoria Allison comes in on the butt. They're trying to move the runner to second, uh, and the runner was gone, and it was easy double up on first base. Double play. And Minneapolis will be hitting here in the bottom of the first here in just a minute. Underway here, first inning in the Riley County substate. Swing and a foul tip as Walker sends that one back to the screen. One strike. Kelly Toll is the pitcher for Riley County. That one's low. Ball. Beautiful day here. In the 70s, it's just very nice compared to the last couple days. Right on the outside corner, strike two. All two strikes. Bailey Walker, the hitter for Minneapolis, came down or over from Tescott. Has a change up and she was way out in front of that. Yeah, it's a strikeout. Now batting number 14, second baseman Kendra Williamson. Bailey, a Tuscat transplant along with Alicia Grimmel. A couple girls over from Tuscat to uh, play softball with the Fighting Lions here. Bailey also played basketball, as you remember. And I'm sure they'll both be on the volleyball court next year. Ball one. Transfer rules, they couldn't do anything last semester. Walker able to play the second semester at Minneapolis basketball. Is pretty nifty little shortstop. This is Kendra Williamson, the hitter. One and one the count. Low it. Toll keeps the ball fairly low on her pitches. And I believe they beat Bennington to get here, Riley County. I think they beat Republic County. Or Republic County, excuse yeah. me. Beloit beat Bennington. And Beloit was beat by Marysville in the pre game previous to this. Yes. 
Outside pitch there, runs the count to three balls and a strike. As Kendra has a pretty good eye there at the plate. Toll uh, outside, and we have a base runner. The pitch was high and outside with one out. Allison Steinbrock in the three hole here for Minneapolis. It's low and no advancement there by Williamson as she takes a good look. Riley County's catcher has a pretty good arm as she demonstrated in the warmups. Can wing it down there. And she throws behind her at first and Semino's got Kendra right back there to the base in fine fashion. One out, one on. Allie Steinbrock, the hitter. Third bagger is playing in a little bit for Riley County. And two balls, no strikes. The count, Allie here will be a little selective. But I'm sure if it's her to her liking, she is wailing away at this one. One out, one on. Be nice to get a run across here in the first inning. There's a strike. As Allie faked the butt, three balls and one strike. So Allie could take a good rip at this one right here. This could be her pitch. And it's Right on the outside corner, a good pitch there by Toll to come back to run the count even, or full at three and two. Payoff pitch is outside, and Toll has walked two hitters here, and I'm sure Coach O'Neill is telling Addie Roth to be a little selective here as she's walked the last two hitters in a row. Two on, one out. Steinbrock at first. Kendra Williamson down at second. And Toll fires in a call strike. And there's another one. Two strike the count. She found the strike zone there. Outfield fairly shallow for the Falcons. That one's in the dirt. No advancement though as the catcher did a good job blocking that pitch. Dugan the catcher, no, it's 34, 34, Cassie Volante. Called third strike as that one was right in there. Two on, two out. Victoria Allison, the hitter. And I guarantee you she will get a rip at it. Strike as Toll. Finds the strike zone, Minneapolis taking all the way here. And she's got a nasty changeup. And that was a pitch in the dirt. Two strikes, the count. And I think that changeup's coming right here. Nope, so is the heater right by her and that's the way that ends. First inning, Minneapolis strands two. No score. We'll have Raleigh County hitting here in the top of the second here in just a minute. McClure. You know, the Coach Max here, uh, I thought the boys were playing at the same time. but Well, that's what I thought too. Yeah, you're right. Maybe uh. they play a little later. Kendall's first pitch here to start off the second inning. Low. Ball one. Yeah. 
Minneapolis had two on in the bottom of the first, but could not plate a runner. Second pitch, still a little, little low, ball two. Substate action. And now Volley Bula. Pronounce that for me, Dale. I'll have to see it, I guess. Blue ball. Blue ball. Al Blue ball. Yeah, Coach Blue ball. He's got his hitter taking all the way here. Strike it is. Nice pitch there by Kendall Perry. Three and one. Don McClure, one of the seniors on this Lady Falcon team. Strike. Nice pitch there as Kendall gets one by her. McClure swinging late, fouls it off to the first base side. And out of play. That runs the count full at three and two. Payoff pitch. Swing and a foul tip off the face mask of Grimmel. Still three and two. First hitter here in the second inning. Three and two. Alley is there. What a catch by Steinbrock up against the fence. They fouled it up and now out of play, actually, down the third base line. And Alley Steinbrock comes from her third base position to make that catch. One away. Rachel Rayon, the hitter for Riley County. One down here in the top of the second. And the pitch. Strike. Right in there. Kendall's right around the plate here. So far in this game, Minneapolis playing good defense behind her. Right in there, but evidently was a little bit low. One and one. No score here, top of the second, substate action in Riley, Kansas. That pitch is outside, two and one. Kendall came in and got the first hitter, McClure, with a down in the count, three balls, no strikes. Now down in the count here, two balls in the strike. Right, a little bit inside, ball three. Here's the pitch. Ooh, caught the corner there. Caught the outside corner. And the lady behind the plate couldn't believe that, but I think he's calling that both ways. Yep. But that was, she couldn't believe that one. She was ready to go walking. <laughs> Far enough outside. That runs the count full. High ball. Rayom with a base on balls. Cromwell the hitter. Wonder if she's related. One down here in the second. She's going to bunt and gets it down. Throw to first. Nice job by. Minneapolis defense as Victoria Allison was charging home plate on the bunt. Kendall took the bunt and a nice throw to first as 
Kendra Williamson right there to cover. And we have two away. Falcons have a runner on second here. Swing and a foul tip. She's out in front of that one as Kendall took a little something off that one. We didn't have the lineups earlier, so I will give them to you now. Alicia Grimmel, the catcher. Victoria Allison plays first base for Minneapolis. Bailey Walker, the shortstop. Swing and a miss. And the runner is headed to third. Throw is there, but not in time. Allie Steinbrock, third baseman. Addison Roth plays left. Kylie Gregg in center and Emily Rankin in right. And Deja Martin will be the flex hitter as Kendall will sit and Deja will hit. Two strike count here, two out. A little bit inside, ball one. One ball, two strikes. And we'd kind of like to leave that runner at third here. Here's the pitch. There's a line pitch. drive right at Alley Steinbrock and it's just a loud out. And that's the way the second inning will end. No score, Minneapolis coming to hit in the bottom of the second. Drag to lead it off for Minneapolis, the six hitter for Minneapolis. Minneapolis made a little noise in the first. Greg to lead it off here. Will be followed by Alicia Grimmel. One ball, no strikes. Over but low. Ball two as Toll has been able to find the strike zone when she needed to. Well, it's graduation time, Dale, and Minneapolis will lose three off this softball team. Very young softball team. Should fare very well next year. I should hope so. Outside ball. Three, three and one. You know, they've picked up uh, at least two freshmen that are playing, there's one or two freshmen that are playing varsity now. Uh, who, who knows what'll come up out of the eighth grade class to help out next year. That's, Greg takes a heater right down the middle and it's strike two. All of a sudden it's full count. Ground ball through the hole. And Greg it out. Quick to first as the first baseman tried for that ground out or ground ball. Right fielder was up with it in good time and probably could have made a throw to first, but there was no one there to cover the bag. Now Gremmel. And Minneapolis has another base runner. Swatted out and missed. It was a foul tip, and the catcher caught a little bit of that off the forearm. Stalen telling Dale, uh, Riley County or Republic County, we were looking for sunscreen one minute. Next minute, we were at a blanket. Right in there, strike two. Grimmel not ready to pull the trigger on that fastball. Now we may see that change up. No, ground ball up the middle. The second baseman has it through to first in time. Now that is number 16, the right but fielder. Grimmel, a nice job there moving the runner to second. Brings up Emily 
Rankin, who has been swinging the bat rather well here of late. Right in there, strike one. Recipient of the John Philip Sousa Award for Outstanding Senior Band, Minneapolis High School. Excellent. You went to the awards. I went to the concert. Concert. Yeah. Two strike the count. Rankin behind here as she's got a runner at second. Greg. Ground ball to the first baseman. She steps on the bag, throws to third, not in time to get Greg. Two away. As Rankin moves the runner along. Now Deja Martin, the hitter. Now batting, the DP number 13, Deja Martin. Minneapolis with a chance to play to runner here. No, outside is the call, I believe. Ball one. Martin, the other senior on this team, Rankin and Kendall Perry. Ground ball to second. Got some English on it and a quick underhand throw by the second baseman gets Martin at first. As Greg was headed down, but we're out there out of the inning and we did not score. That's the top or bottom of the second. We'll be back with Riley County hitting in the top of the third here in just a minute. To lead off the top of the third, no score here. Minneapolis playing good defense behind Perry. There's a pitch right in there for a ball. Evidently, it's a ball. One ball, no strike. See us, the designated hitter. That one right in there, strike one. One and one, the count. Flags at half mass, Dale. I I don't know why. Seems like it's been that way quite often in most parts of the country, and I don't know what this one would be. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss there by Sias. As Perry ahead in the count here. Let's see if she can get one by her. Ground ball to third. The vacuum sweeper. Steinbrock up with it. Over to the first for the first out. Allie Steinbrock just been so solid defensively all year long down there at third. She's got a uh, very good glove and the presence of mind. Uh, I don't think I've seen a bad throw to first all year long. So I'm going to brag her up. She's done well. His left hand hitter, swing and a miss. By Glover. She's a freshman. Well, look at that, uh, Dale. It looks like. A little bit of everything, don't they? Yeah. Just none, of that, one. just none of that country fried steak from Nelson's Landing. <laughs> Sounds good. I could split one with my wife, be happy. One and one, the count. The lefty up there, Glover. The first baseman. Ground ball to second, over the glove of Williamson into right field as Emily Rankin comes up with that hit. Glover at first now. And I think it's going to be take one so we can get that runner down to second. Here's the pitch. One out here. Right in the hole as shortstop was covering. Left a hole there between third and shortstop. Now Weeks, the hitter, and Riley County has something going here in the third with one out. They have two on. Weeks, the hitter.
low. Nice stop there by Grimmel. Steinbrock playing in at third, as is Allison a little bit, anticipating maybe a bunt here to move the runners. But they don't get one as that ball is right up the middle. She's great play. Called her safe. He said you're out of there. The help said you're out of there. Did he reverse his call? She didn't even get to the plate. He said you're out of there. Well, <laughs> wow. Did you not hear what I heard? I saw him uh, give the safe signal, but she was definitely out, what I could tell. Anyway, as, not, as Alicia blocked the plate completely, and she slid in, didn't even get to the plate, called her safe. Yep. That throw goes into left field. Addison Roth right there to back up the play. Riley County on the board here in the third. One nothing, and they have runners at second and third with should one be out. two out, but it's just one out. Foul ball down the third base line. Steinbrock there to put a glove on it. One and one. Top fly to center. Greg there makes the catch. Slips. One runner scores, one goes to third. Two down. Two away. Two to nothing. Riley County. Now batting the third baseman, number 12, Kelsey McClure. McClure back to the plate for her second time through. Two nothing, Riley County. Here in the third. There's a pop-up. Walker cannot get to it, but she does cover a lot of ground. Foul ball. One strike to count. Two out here in the top of the third. Lady Falcons batting. High ball, one. Well, the wind's not blowing, the dirt's not blowing in your face. Isn't so that wonderful? Beautiful day. Oh, there's a nice snag by Walker on the liner to left, and that's the way the Riley County top of the third will end. Minneapolis coming to hit here in the bottom of the third trailing. 2-0. County plated two in the top of the third on a close play at home plate as Grimmel puts the tag on the Riley County runner, but evidently she slid under the tag. I know Cleo was getting a little bit of a idea there what had happened from the man in blue, so maybe I can get one later on. One strike, the count. Walker, the hitter. Swing and a miss as Toll got Walker on a changeup the first time through. And you might see it here again. Yep, outside, ball one. 
One ball, two strikes. Lady Falcons with a two run lead, swing and a miss, strike out. Four Walker brings up Kendra Williamson. Kendra, a freshman, will handle most of the pitching chores next year. A very good uh, pitcher. Has started quite a few games this year for Minneapolis and has won quite a couple of them. Done a very good job. Swung on and fouled down the first baseline. One strike the count. Allie Steinbrock in the on-deck circle. One away here in the bottom of the third. Lady Falcons with a two-run lead. In the dirt. One and one the count. Kendra steps in and strike two. We are noticing the flag at half mass and still haven't came up with a name to put with the, the flag. So we're just going to say it didn't go all the way to the top today. Might be a local. Ball two. Two and two. Williamson, the hitter for Minneapolis. Steinbrock looking on. Will hit in this inning. Good hit right up the middle. Second sacker has it and up with it over to first. Williamson with a good hit, but second baseman with a nice play for Riley County. Two out, nobody on for the Lady Lions. First pitch right in there, strike one. Steinbrock, the three hitter for Minneapolis, has hit there all year long. Through the hole in between short and third for base hit. Nice piece of hitting there by Steinbrock. Finds an opening and gets it through. Now Addison Roth, the hitter, will hit here with two down. If she gets on, it will be Victoria Allison. Time Brock at first. Swung on and fouled off to the right. First base side. One strike, the count. Another one down the first baseline. Two strike, the count. This pitcher does have, Toll has a pretty decent changeup, so the Minneapolis hitters will have to watch out. She has thrown it a couple times. High and outside, ball one. As she tries to get Addison to chase a bad pitch. Outside, ball two. Toll has the ability is to come with a strike when she needs it. Minneapolis with a runner on first. Two away here in the bottom of the third. Swing and a miss. Strike out. And that's the way the third inning will end. Riley County coming back in the top of the fourth, leading 2-0. 
Riley County. Now batting, Lady three. Falcons. The shortstop, Rachel Rayon. Well, it'd be nice to have a three up, three down thing here as we work the game, the men in blue, with a three-man crew, which is good. Pitch right in there. Uh, it's a ball, though. Evidently, it was a little high. That one outside, ball two. <coughs> two balls, no strikes. Dale and I might be reaching for the sunscreen before it's all said and done. It's a beautiful day in Riley. It's a pop-up. Shortstop has it. Walker right there for the out. Nice play by Bailey Walker, the shortstop for Minneapolis. Walker just a sophomore. Grimmel Jr. Actually, I thought uh, popped up again on the right hand first base side and out of play. One strike to count. I can't find her. Oh. <laughs> I think she's a junior. So we have two juniors. Yeah, Greg's a junior. Dremel and Kylie Gregg. I was looking for her and didn't find her on the brochure here. There's a left stinger out to Roth and she reaches up to snag that one as it was still headed out to the fence. Nice big hit there by Lady Falcons. How about the catcher, number 34, Cassie Volante. Cromwell tagged that one, hit her right on the button. Now Volante the hitter. We'll hit with two out here in the top of the fourth. Riley County leading by two. She's way out in front of that one and hits it down the left field line. Foul and out of play. No balls and a strike. Count, Riley County leading by two. There's a pop up. Roth there makes the catch. To retire the side, Minneapolis puts down the Lady Falcons in order here in the top of the fourth. We'll be batting in the bottom of the fourth here in just a minute. Just minute. what the doctor ordered, Mike. Yes. Allison. Top of the bottom of the fourth. Allison, the hitter for Minneapolis, the first baseman. We'll lead it off. Minneapolis needs to get the sticks out of here as we're in the fourth. Had a good chance for to push a run across in the first, but couldn't get it done. The Riley County, pretty good defensive team. There's a nice hit up the middle. Second baseman right there fields it, throws out. Allison at first, one away. She hit it right on the button, but right at the second baseman. Second baseman has made quite a few putouts. Now Greg, the hitter. Started the year in left field, has moved to center. As attrition has taken his toll a little bit on the Minneapolis lineup. Emily Rankin moved in to the starting position in right and has done a good job. One and one the count here. A 
on Kylie Gregg. On base the last time. It's a nice hit. They will not get that one. Gregg will get three bases on this one anyway. They're going to try and score, and she is safe. She's, he's been consistent with that call. At least this time he didn't say you're out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the park home run for Kylie Gregg. Kylie Gregg, Ken Motor, <laughs> and she found her liking when she rounded third. She was not to be denied. And she, she had speed had on, didn't she? Yes, she did. And the uh, man in blue has been consistent with that call at home, and maybe we just even things up right there. Two to one. Now is the score. Minneapolis on the scoreboard. Grimmel outside the pitch. Just one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Minneapolis plates one here on Kylie Gregg's inside the park home run. Grimmel watches that one. Evens the count at a ball on the strike. Nice hit. Throw to first. Pulls the first baseman off the bag, but quick enough to get back and tag Gremmel. Now Rankin the hitter. Emily, the right fielder. I don't know what that was, but uh, anyway. Something it's about one of the girls in the bullpen, the uh, dugout, I guess. Trying outside, ball one. Coach had to say something to one of them. Minneapolis right back in this game. If they win this game, they will play. Marysville. Back to back, and they'll get Marysville, who disposed of Beloit in the earlier game. And I can tell you right now, Dale and I will not have enough battery to go two games. Not on the camera. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Great we're, we're, doing, there. we're doing pretty good on this first game, though. So. Good. Ball two. Strike one. Ranking the hitter. Right on the outside corner is Toll. With a good pitch. Two and two, the count. Way outside. Runs the count full. And it's a base on balls. Toll could not find the strike zone there. Brings up Deja Martin. Two out, one on. Martin with a ground out the first time up. See if she can move Emily down to second with a base hit. Through a hole somewhere. Strike one, the call. That was in the dirt, but swung at and missed. Strike two. Walker, the on-base hitter, or the on-base batter, right down the middle, call strike three. And that's the way the fourth inning will end. Bailey Walker will lead it off in the Bottom of the fifth, Riley County coming to bat here in the top of the fifth, leading two to one. Three, the DP, Danielle. Top Cetus. of the fifth, two Cetus to one. The right. for Riley County. Top of the fifth, Minneapolis right in this thing. Riley County hitting. That's 
Here's the pitch. Inside and low, ball one. See us the designated hitter. One ball, no strikes, the count. Swing and a miss. One and one. Ground ball to short, Walker up with it, and the first for the first out of the inning. Nice play by Bailey Walker. Excellent. Now batting the first baseman, number four, Randy Glover. Overall, our defense has been pretty good. Yes. Well, this facility is uh, right beside the middle school in town, and it's right on two fairly busy streets. There's no way to really watch the people charge admission. They just take it as they see you don't have a stamp on your hand. So it's just the by, honor by goodwill. The honor system, yeah. Swing and a foul tip. Evens the count of the ball and a strike. As Glover with a big hit in the first inning, or second inning, excuse me. We're into the fifth here. This is a second or third time through for Glover. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. Minneapolis right in this thing. This is uh, Pretty good game for the Lady Lions. She's got it. Alicia Grimmel. Alicia Grimmel. Excuse me, I keep wanting to put an SH in there. It's Alicia. With a nice play there by the catcher as the foul went up and down behind her, made the play. And we have two away here in the fifth. Pitch, a strike. As Marcotte. Marcotte, Marcotte. Hits one on the button to left field. Roth there cuts it off and holds the just, hitter to a single. Just a little over that stretched arm. So. Bailey Walker. Just enough height. Weeks to hit her now with Riley County. Runner on first with two out. Here's the pitch. Outside. She's in there as the throw is right there. Walker put the tag on her. Got her on the shoulder, but uh, the runner had slid in. Marcotte. Two away, and Riley County has a runner on second. Inside and low ball. Two. Two no. Lady Lions battling the Lady Falcons here into the fifth inning, trailing by one, two to one. There's a pop up. They got a long ways to go to get that one. Rankin and uh, Kylie Gregg run into each other. Else was, I think Rankin would have had it. Rankin had it for a minute, but it came out when they ran into each other and the run will score. Nice try by both players. 
And I think Greg took the worst of that one as Rankin was full speed, caught her in the side. Nice try. <laughs> Excellent play by both uh, Greg and Rankin, but uh, ball falls harmlessly to the ground, and he can't. The effort was there, I guarantee you. Strike. Throw out into center field. It's for the old rule, you gotta call it. You gotta call it. Comes into play. Yep. Now Riley County with another runner at second. Weeks is down there with two away. And we need to limit the exposure right here. Three to one, Riley County. Ground ball to Allie Steinbrock. Up and over to first for the out. Allie Steinbrock with a wonderful play at third base on that hard hit ball. Minneapolis coming to bat here in the bottom of the fifth. Now trailing three to one. Well, we're doing uh, pretty good. We've got, according to the screen, 186 minutes left. I don't believe it. But, uh, we'll see. No, that last uh, 15, 20 minutes goes pretty fast, as I remember. It says 176. So Bailey Walker leading it off for Minneapolis. Well, we'll have enough battery for this game. Oh, for this game, easy. Swing and a miss. Nice cut there by Walker. Finally gets a good rip at Toll's fastball. One strike the count. Ground ball to third. She's up with it and the first for the out. Ground out there. Walker gets the bat on the ball that time. Almost beats it out. Hustles down to first, but is out just by a step. Now Kendra Williamson, the hitter for Minneapolis. The two hitter. Very good pitcher as we would probably see her in the second game here today if Minneapolis wins. One strike, the count. Change up. Way outside, but called a strike. Woo. <laughs> that was <laughs> out there a ways, anyway. Two strikes, the count. Boy, that change up. Kind of caught Kendra off guard, but I would have taken it too. It was out there. Now, Allie Steinbrock. Toll throwing strikes here for the Lady Falcons. Popped up. First baseman is under it and makes the catch. Three up, three down for Minneapolis. Here in the bottom of the fifth, we'll be back with Riley County hitting in the top of the sixth here in just a minute. Two more innings of three and out, Mike. Yes, Minneapolis needs a one, two, three inning here so we can get the sticks out. In the bottom of this inning, we are down to our last six outs. Riley County hitting here in the sixth. McClure will hit here. Al Bluebaugh, the coach for Riley County. Affiliate, affiliated with the KFRM group. Oh, nice play by Bailey Walker. To throw out McClure at first, one away. At least was, anyway. Now batting the shortstop, number three, Rachel Rayo. I think I heard that he left, and that's why they, they lost the Minneapolis broadcast. He didn't 
nobody sold it anymore. But. Rayom, the hitter for Lady Falcons. Right in there, strike one. Kendall ahead in the count here. No balls and a strike. Sixth inning, Riley County ahead three to one. That one over but low, ball one. Well, went through Leonardville on the way here. Ooh. Good thing that a little bit inside that. and hits the batter. And she will get a free Right down to first. Free pass. Kendall a little bit inside with that one, I know. Didn't try to. Now batting for the Falcons, number seven, the right fielder, Corey Cromwell. One out, one on Cromwell, the hitter. Well, I'm sure we'll try to move the runner here, and Blue Ball has Cromwell probably bunting as she did earlier in the game. Fakes it, throw to second. Walker picks it up on the bounce and applies the tag, but too little, too late. Just a little bit late as Riley County's runner is right in there. Rayom. One strike the count on Cromwell. Ground ball to short. Through the wickets of Walker, but Addison Roth, a nice job there. Fielding, backing up the play, gets the ball right into second base right away. And holds Cromwell to a single. Now Rayom on third with one out. One out, two on. And Blue Ball has got a play on here as nice job by Gremmel as the batter flagged at it and missed. Strike is the call. It's a good call by the Yamp as she did try to bunt it. It's kind of a high pitch. One strike the count, one out. Ball two. Excuse me. One or one. One or one. It wouldn't matter where I sat, Dale. There would be one pole right in the way, uh -huh. splitting the <laughs> scoreboard. And that one's right on the strike and the inning. Here's the pitch. Funded to help Kendall Kemp make a play on it. And everyone's safe. And the score is four to one. Couple of errors here. has opened up the door for Riley County. Now with a four, four to run, one lead, we need a, an out here in a bad way. We've got a force at second. Riley County has a runner on third though. See us, the hitter. And they're gonna make Kendall field another one here, I would imagine. Swung on and missed, or Bunted at and missed. Strike one. First base runner moves to second. Riley County with two runners in scoring position here. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. And we could use a strikeout right here. 
Should use another nifty double play like we had to mm -hmm. open the game. Here's the pitch. Strike right in there. And he's been pretty consistent. It was right on the outside corner. He's called it that way all game long. Not that I agree with him, but uh, Dale, you and I always have the angle. It seems like you're outside, but you know, he's right there behind the plate, so. And he's the one getting paid to umpire the ball game. So. Yeah. <laughs> two out, two on. Riley County hitting here in the sixth, leading 4-1. Dugan, the hitter for Riley County. Here's the pitch. Nice play by the catcher, Gremmel, to block that pitch that was in the dirt. Saves a run right there for sure. One ball, no strikes. Here's the pitch. Ball two. Need to go after her right here as this is the hitter she wants. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul tip. Two balls and a strike. Minneapolis trying to limit the exposure here as Steinbrock plays in and Allison at first base try and get a run at home plate here. Three and one. I believe he's going to have her take right here. Kendall needs to come across right here with a strike. And does. Swing and a miss. Full count. Advantage pitcher here as the count runs full. She's got to protect the plate, and Kendall doesn't have to be quite as precise. Four to one. Lady Falcons. Two out. All we got to do is get her at first. Oh, okay. So a couple of errors in this inning has produced a couple of runs. Now with runners on the corners, they're not done yet. They've done all the run scoring here with two out, Dale. You see that quite often. As the Marysville Lady Dogs are back on the scene. Grandma chases the runner back to third. Now batting is number two, the second baseman, Bailey Marcotte. Marcotte, the hitter. One ball, no strikes. The count. Here's the pitch. One and one. A little bit outside, ball two. Yeah. 
Well, we've spotted them in a couple runs here, Dale. That didn't help proceedings in the sixth, did it? No. Two and one the count. Pop up, first base side. Drops foul. Didn't it drop foul? It was fair. Oh, it was drop fair, and the hitter yeah. didn't go. Okay, cool. <laughs> that worked out all right. Yeah. They didn't get another run, and running mistake there by the Riley County hitter, and we get her at first as the ball, as a pop-up right behind first base. Falls in, and we'll be back. Minneapolis hitting in the bottom of the six, trailing five to one. Here we go, bottom of the sixth, Addison Roth to lead it off for Minneapolis. Trailing 5-1, we could sure use a couple runs right here. Addie watches that one roll across but low. Ball one. Swing and a miss as Toll fires one right over the outside corner. Swing and a foul straight back and out of play. Roth with a nice cut there. Glad you are parked back there, Mike. Yes. <laughs> There's another one. She's working her way around in my car. Another 50, 60 degrees and a little more power might make it. One ball, two strikes to count here on Addison Roth. Swing and a miss. Down she goes. As Toll took a little something off that pitch. Allison, the hitter. Toll getting a little stronger here as the game progresses. And she pulled the string on that one. She has a change up, doesn't she? Yep. Very effective there as Allison not able to hold back. Tried to follow up with another one there, lost grip on the ball. Ball, two strikes. Count over a bit low. Two and two. Allison watches another one roll in there. Runs the count full, three balls, two strikes. Victoria Allison, freshman for Minneapolis. First baseman. Over but low, ball four. Good eye there by V. Number 10. Don't really use the first names here in this lineup. It's V and B. Bailey Walker and V, Victoria Allison. And A is coming up. We have a timeout. We'll be back. Last time Amber Gregg was up. Inside the park, Homer. And the right fielder, they've, they're playing the center fielder and the right fielder. They've swung around the right field. They're playing her to hit that way. Go, 
foul. Craig trying to move the runner, bunts, but it goes foul. Good idea. One strike to count, one out. Victoria Allison on first. Ground ball down the third base line. She's going to try and score, and she is there. Allison scores from first base on the ground ball to third, throw to first, way over the head of the first baseman. And Greg, unable to move to second on a nice play by the right fielder as she's there to back up the play. Coach Bluebaugh for the Falcons takes time out. The Lions trail 5-2, one out, top bottom of the six. So they're playing Riley County over at uh -huh. Leonard Leonardville. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I noticed Coach Mack left. They must have had a narrow layover here as they watched part of the softball game. And since it's just a few miles down the road. Alicia Grimmel. Throw to second. Tiger right in the face. That's the other reason I like a head first slide. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of hard to pull it off. Alicia Grimmel, the hitter. Outside ball. Ball two. Two outs here. Bottom of the sixth. Minneapolis plated a run here, five to two now. Riley County, Lady Falcons. There's a pop up. Third baseman is calling for it and takes it for the third out. That's the way the sixth inning will end. Minneapolis gets a run. Riley County still leading five to two. We'll be back. So what? Weeks to lead it off for the Lady Falcons here in the top of the seventh. Ground ball to third. Allie's got it up to first. High throw. <laughs> and Stein, or, uh, Allison could not pull down that throw. Nobody out here. Strike the throw. Got her. Turn around is turn about. It's fair play. And nice throw by Gremmel. And the tag is put on by Walker. And that erases the base runner of Riley County. One away. Way outside, ball one. Ball on the strike. Pop up down the third base line. Steinbrock cannot get there. Two strikes and a ball to count. Clear on deck. Here's the pitch. Ball and two strikes. Inside and low. Ball two. Two and two the count. One out. Nobody on. Here in the seventh. Minneapolis right in this thing. Trailing five to two. Riley County hitting. Hitting. 
Ground ball. Short. Walker has it. He's got her. Nice play by Bailey Walker. And we have two away. Nice play by Minneapolis to catch Epperson. Now McClure the hitter. Will hit with nobody on and two away here in the seventh. Inside, ball one. Minneapolis down to their last three outs. We'll have to score in the seventh to get back in this thing. They have done a nice job here today. Untimely errors at a couple of untimely errors have plagued our defense, but for the most part have played pretty good defense. 2-0 the count. McClure the hitter. Three and out. Two out, nobody on. McClure the hitter. We'd like to not allow the Lady Falcons any base runners here in the seventh. He walked her. Rayom, the hitter. McClure on first, two away. Get a ground ball out right here. Forces at second. Swing and a miss. Rayom way out in front of that one. No balls and a strike. The count. We kind of had a fluke out the last inning to end the sixth as the fly ball landed fair, but the Riley County batter did not run it out. Minneapolis was able to get her at first base to end the inning. Now here, here we are in the seventh. A little bit outside, two and one. One on, two out. There's a pop foul down the first base side and out of play. Nobody could get to it. Williamson ran over to take a look. Allison could not get there. Two and two. The count. Rayom the hitter. Ground ball to third. Roth with a nice pickup. Gets the ball back to Walker. The base hit by Rayom. Right Brings up Cromwell. Cromwell. Two out. Here in the seventh. That is called a strike. And we'll take it. <laughs> you bet. Especially with how, how hard this third out has been to get recently. Yeah. No balls and a strike here on Cromwell. There's a foul back and out of play. Ball boy makes a nice play on it over by the 
Scotch Pine. Two strikes to count on Cromwell. Nice pickup by Bailey Walker and the peg to first in time to retire the side. Minneapolis allows no runs in the seventh. Riley County had two on though and threatening, but we shut the door and Minneapolis will be up with their last three outs and a chance to move on here. We need to score at least three, trailing five to two. Need to put the rally caps on and uh, score a couple three here. Trailing five to two. This is our last of bat here in the seventh. Minneapolis boys trailing Riley County baseball over at Leonardville by 13-0. A few. And both baseball and softball are about down to their last three outs here. Rankin needs to put the ball in play here for the Lady Lions. Over but low, ball two. Excuse me, one and one. The count. Rankin in the box now, ready for business. Swung out and fouled down the first base line. Foul. One ball, two strikes. Now the count on Emily Rankin, senior right fielder. He's done a good job for Coach O'Neill and Coach Semino. Swung on, nice rip there by Emily Rankin. Did a nice swing on that one. Now she needs to watch out for that changeup, doesn't she, Dale? Yep. It's happened a couple times already to batters. And that's exactly what she got. The change up, and she could not hold back on that one as Rankin fans had it. Dasha Martin, the hitter. Swung on and missed. Bailey Walker, the leadoff hitter, is in the on-deck circle. Will hit in this inning as Deja Martin looks at a pitch outside and high ball one. Swung on and fouled down the first base line. One ball, two strikes. The count on Deja Martin. The senior designated hitter. She jumps out of the way of that one inside right at the shoelaces. Probably could have took one for the team there, huh, Dale? Well, I think you're <laughs> supposed to jump and get out of the way if you can. Swing and a, swing and a miss. And we're down to our last out. Now batting the shortstop, number three, Bailey Walker. Bailey's Still. not got on base all day, so it'd be nice to see you do it now. Yes, she's due. Five to two, Riley County. Ball one. Nice hit to shortstop. She's up with it, throws to first, and that's that. Minneapolis with a nice showing here against the Riley County. And that is your final. Lady Falcons, and that is the end of the game. Riley Minneapolis five. loses to Riley County 5-2. Riley County will move on to play Marysville back-to-back -back here right after we clear out. 
And all I can tell them is good luck for the way Marysville took care of Beloit. <laughs> Marysville took care of Beloit, so I've got to tell you, they run real this up at Beloit. And so Mary's, or, uh, Riley County's got their work cut out for them. Well, this ends uh, in the fifth season, their most successful season ever, I think, record-wise. Probably the highest they've ten placed, ten. placed in the league overall. Yep. Uh, so. Had some exciting uh, The program softball. is building. Promising future for the Lady Lions. And uh, we thank them for a nice season and wish them all the best as next spring rolls around. Yeah, I'm sure Coach O'Neill is looking forward to uh, the seasons to come with this young ball club they have here as they graduate three seniors. And uh, the ones coming up are going to be just fine. Two runs tonight, one an inside the park homer, a single, uh, single run there by uh, Amber Gregg, and then she... Kylie. Kylie Riley. Kylie Gregg, excuse me. And then she uh, got a hit and run batted in for uh, Kylie there with Victoria Allison coming across the plate. So counted for the two runs tonight oh. for the Lions. So uh, we're going to bring... This broadcast season on 19KNA.com and Eagle Communications Channel 8 to a close. Uh, we'll see if there's any uh, state track comes up for us. That would be our only option That'll now, be our only option, state yeah. track, so, yeah. so which is always a, it's a long day, it's a fun day, but uh, well, let's see how the Lions do at regional this week and see if we have something to go broadcast for television replay a week from Friday, Saturday at State in Wichita. So with that, Dale Leach and, and Mike Perry. Thanks for listening to us, and thanks to all our sponsors that have been with us this year. We really appreciate it. Yes, we do. Good night, everybody.